Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. For the next few podcasts, we're going to be talking about King Hezekiah, who was the king of Judah in the southern kingdom. Hezekiah's priority when he began to reign was to reestablish the worship of the Lord in Jerusalem. So he destroyed all the high places and idols, reopened the temple, cleaned it out, and rededicated it and the Levites to the Lord. When everything was ready, he wrote letters to all of Israel and Judah, inviting them to come to Jerusalem for the Passover, urging them to return to the Lord their God. Not only did Hezekiah send letters, but he made proclamations, telling the people of Judah and Israel to come to Passover. He instructed the runners to say, Don't be like your fathers. Don't be stiff-necked. Yield yourselves to the Lord and enter his sanctuary, that his wrath may turn away from you. For the Lord your God is gracious and merciful and will not turn his face from you if you return to him. This was after Assyria had taken Israel captive, but a remnant remained there. For some, this invitation may have been the last they had, calling them back to the Lord. I wonder how many people took advantage of this. How many turned back to God just because they were asked to come to Passover? Now some mocked, but others humbled themselves and came to Jerusalem. Who do you know who just needs someone to invite them to church or to a Bible study? They may have a desire to go, and God has prepared their hearts, but they just don't know where to go or what to do. A personal invitation from you may be all that they need to begin their journey walking with the Lord. It says the hand of the Lord was on Judah to give them singleness of heart to obey the command of the king and the leaders at the word of the Lord. All the leaders were in agreement. Now, how often does that happen? And God blessed them. He brought a huge crowd for Passover. Was Hezekiah doing everything exactly right? No, the temple and the priests weren't ready at the time of Passover, but they decided to go ahead and hold it anyway. And many people coming from the northern kingdom hadn't cleansed themselves as the law prescribed. But Hezekiah didn't turn them away. He prayed for them. He said, May the good Lord provide atonement for everyone who prepares his heart to seek the Lord, the God of his fathers, though he is not cleansed according to the purification of the sanctuary. And the Lord listened to him. It was a great time of fellowship. In fact, when they'd kept the feast for one week, they all joyfully decided to continue it another week. Can you imagine going to church? No one criticizing the music, no one caring what anyone else was wearing, no one judging anyone, just enjoying the love and fellowship and worship so much that you say, oh, it's already 12 o'clock? Well, who cares? Let's keep worshiping. We could do this all day. What a joyous celebration. I especially love how Hezekiah prayed for his people. He wasn't the high priest, but he was a shepherd for his people. And one way of shepherding those under him was praying for them. Hezekiah invited people far and near to return to the Lord their God. He prayed for them, and he led by example. We can do that too. Who can you invite to the Lord? Who is God leading you to pray for? And what kind of example are you setting for those around you? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through His Word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Mm -hmm.